punk and D-beat band formed in 1979, the band is characterized by a minimalistic approach of music and lyrics. Heavy, distorted and grinding guitar-driven sound and raw, shouted vocals similar to a political speech, with lyrics on anarchist and pacifist themes over intense drone-like rhythms. All Music calls the band's sound a high-speed noise overload characterized by ferocious noise blasts, the band's 1982 debut album Hear Nothing See Nothing Say Nothing, went to number 2 on the UK indie charts and number 40 in the UK album chart. In the early 1980s numerous singles and EPs placed in the top 10 of the UK indie charts, including the 1981 EPY and the 1982 single State Violent State Control. The albums influenced many thrash metal, black metal, crust, grindcore, and various extreme metal subgenres, Discharge's influence on heavy metal and punk rock is incalculable in metal superstars such as Metallica, Anthrax, Machine Head, Soulfly and Sepultura have covered Discharge's songs and tribute. The musical genre of D-beat is named after Discharge and their distinctive drumbeat. Atkinson left later that year followed by Bamford, and the band recruited their roadie Kelvin Cal Morris as vocalist, moving Terry Roberts to drums and Wainwright to bass. With Morris's addition the group abandoned their previous Sex Pistols-influenced material and developed a new set of songs with a retooled sound, Anthony Roberts played guitar with a heavy, distorted and grinding style and Morris shouted or screamed vocals without melody. The tempo of the band's songs also steadily increased over the next year or so, the stylistic transition made by the band was part of a broader trend in the early 1980s in the UK, which is known as UK82 or Second Generation UK Hardcore. Discharge in bands such as Chaos UK, Amabix, and GBH took the existing 1977-era punk sound and melded it with the incessant, heavy drum beats and wall of sound distortion guitar pioneered in the Overkill album by Motorhead. The new harder-edged style also tended to use much darker, more nihilistic and violent lyrics, focusing on anarchist and pacifist themes while emphasizing the grisly effects of nuclear warfare and the social ills caused by capitalism. The band also expressed its political and social themes in its album's artwork, which depicted the horrors of war using an iconic black and white photography style. One of the notable images is the impaled dove artwork from a World War II anti-war poster by John Hartfield which depicts a dove impaled on a bayonet. The first gig with this new lineup and new sound was at Northwood Parish Hall. Tanya Rich brought this gig to the attention of Mike Stone, a local record shop owner, who ran the Clay Records punk record label. Tanya would go on to forge a deal between Discharge and Clay Records, the band showed their gratitude by dedicating the realities of War EP to Tanya on the inside groove of the vinyl. Early EPs and Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing in 1980 and 1982. In 1980 Discharge signed with Clay Records and recorded their first single Realities of War in February 1980 which made the UK indie chart when it was released in April, after being played on John Peel's show peaking at number 5 and spending 44 weeks in the chart. The band also performed their first shows outside of Stoke-on-Trent in 1980, playing in Leicester, Preston and Glasgow, after two further EP releases in that same year founding member Terry Roberts departed, later joining the UK subs to be replaced initially by Keith Haynes of Picture Frame Seduction and soon thereafter by Dave Bambi Ellesmere before the Y EP was recorded. Ellesmere did not stay long, and the band replaced him with Gary Maloney of the Verrookers on drums, Y albums gave the band their first UK indie number one. Discharge recorded their first album, 1982's Hear Nothing See Nothing Say Nothing which was the number one punk album of all time in a poll by Terrorizer magazine. The album reached number two on the indie album chart and number 40 in the UK album chart, the group played regularly throughout the UK, often appearing with bands such as GBH and The Exploited, and the success of the debut album also saw them touring Canada, the United States, Italy, Yugoslavia, Holland, Finland and Sweden. The lyrics on the album tended to be short political statements that were repeated, the album's title track, 
for example, consists of only three lines lied to, threatened, cheated and deceived here nothing, see nothing, say nothing led up garden paths and into blind alleys, the song Free Speech for the Dumb is even more lyrically stripped down, it consists solely of the words from the title repeated emphatically. In 1984 Anthony Roberts left the group, later to form Broken Bones with his brother Tez joining him, he was replaced by Peter Puchperdil who brought significant heavy metal influences. The Warning EP shows drastic stylistic differences, with Morris changing his angry shouts to a mix of regular singing and football chants, as well the band used significantly slower tempos and their D-beat punk style was replaced with metal-oriented beats. With the release of Ignorance, Pirtel and Maloney left the band to form the punk metal crossover band Hellsbell to be replaced by guitarists Les The Mole Hunt and drummer Michael Mickey Gibson. Following the later addition of second guitarist Stephen Fishbrooks, they released 1980's AXS Grave New World a mainstream metal album with a glam sound from Morris's high-pitched singing style. The album reached the indie top 10 but did not go down well with the die-hard punk following the band has and the USA tour for the album was disastrous, the band struggled with personnel problems as Morris departed and was briefly replaced by ex-Rathchild frontman Rob Rocky Shades Berkeley the following year, the group disbanded shortly thereafter. In 2001 the classic lineup of Cal, Bones, Rainey and Tez reunited after meeting at a party held by original bassist Bamford and in 2002 they released their self-titled album, Discharge a Return to their early 1980s style featuring political commentary and aggressive playing. As well they brought back their intense D-beat drumming style, although combined with the remaining metal influence, it gave the album a speed metal influence with its thrashy riffs. Morris would not commit to touring to promote the album and left the band, to be replaced by Anthony Rat Martin of the Verrookers. Rad was replaced by Jeff J.J. Janiak on vocals, while Tez Roberts returned to the band, except this time on rhythm guitar rather than drums making Discharge a five-piece. On June 3, 2015 the group premiered a new song called New World Order which left fans stunned at the sound of the new lineup and the return of the classic Discharge sound. An EP containing the song and a live recording of Ain't No Feeble Bastard was released on January 16, 2016 entitled New World Order. On February 10, 2016 the band announced their seventh studio album, entitled End of Days, was to be released sometime in April.